Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what we're going to be talking about today for our observational drawing unit is the concept of the right brain versus the left brain. Now, in the 1960s, scientists proved that two parts of our brain control the many, many, many different aspects of different things that we understand. We have the right side of the brain and the left side of the brain, or right hemisphere or left hemisphere, depending on how you want to say it. Now, it has been proven that different sides of the brain control different aspects of our body. The right side of the brain controls our left side of the brain. Sorry, our right side of our brain controls the left side of our body and the left side of our brain controls the right side of the body. Also, it controls different understandings. So, for instance, the left side of the brain really controls a lot more of our language, logical order, mathematical reasoning, whereas the right side of our brain really controls our creativity, our randomness, the emotional side of our being. And this really goes into how we create art and make art. Go back. So what this means is that when you are talking to somebody, you are just being very left. You're using the left hemisphere of your brain more so than the right. When you are drawing, painting, creating music, singing, dancing, you're using the right side of your brain more. Now... What this means is that you cannot draw and talk at the same time. It is just impossible. Yes, I keep talking about multitasking in class, but it's very, very, very hard to really concentrate and bring out that creative side of you if you're really also talking and focusing on the language side of your brain. So today's exercise is really going to focus on reducing that conflict between the right and the left side of the brain. It's really going to make you focus on what you're doing. So what you're going to do is you're going to create an upside down drawing of the following image. This is Picasso's drawing from 1920 of composer Igor Stravatsky. And what you're going to do is when you get the image you are going to flip it upside down and you're going to draw it. You're going to focus on lines. You're going to focus on the shapes rather than the object itself. And you're going to watch a video next that's going to explain a little bit more about what you need to do step by step. All right.